Hi, welcome to a, another Masters of Pirate Party member meeting. Uh, it's been a bit of a hiatus, unfortunately, due to uh, other factors, but we are here and have at least this one and another one before the end of the year, uh, more than likely. So with that, uh, let's begin. Um, identification, I'm James O'Keefe, Somerville, Captain. Steve Revelak, Arlington, um, Vice Chair, First Mate. Yeah, First Mate, that's it. <laughs> and uh, Joseph Onorowski of Lowell, though, you know, tonight I find myself in other places. And I am whatever this party needs. Currently, Treasurer. Thank you both. So, um, is there anything to add to the agenda? Nothing here. Uh, it looks pretty good, um, as is. I think that that's more than enough for this evening. All right. So um, reports, I'll go first. Um, a s sad to say I've just been slammed with stuff, and I haven't gotten the things that I need to get done. But, you know, another weekend beckon, so with any luck. I'll I'll get those out. Um, although I have a question for that for the winter conference, but I'll leave it to the winter conference. Um, anyone else have any reports? Uh, for the treasury, we have spent no money. Okay. And the um, campaign finance report is what the, <clears throat> like the first, sometime in the first couple of weeks, like three weeks of January, right? Yeah, so we'll have to do the year-end report uh, right after the New Year's. Go on, reporter right. seven. I will look through if there's any expenditures uh, that are unrecorded and make sure they are. Appreciate it. Um, did you do any? Did you? Do, I know you did some in kind for the national stuff, but do you do any in kind for the for our chapter? For this year, likely to uh, write those down and put them in the report, as well as make a year end contribution as well. I will be able to make the year end contribution myself. So. Okay, so and. Uh, for those who, who, who might want to, pirates.org links there. So with that, uh, we have a bunch of things that we're asked to look at, see if like we position on. So the first is the Endorsement Surveillance Reform Act. Um, essentially, Section 702 to expire at the end of this year. Unless Congress realizes it, probably uh, one of the times I personally believe in laws that should expire, um, along with tax breaks for the rich. But, uh, anyways, uh, so we've been asked to uh, consider it. Um, at our previous meeting, we did do. Uh, Review. Um, do folks reviewed it enough and can make a decision? Uh, well, as far as what I reviewed, it definitely is a step in the right direction. It doesn't necessarily go as far as I was hoping for. It's not a full repeal of the Patriot Act and etc. However, you know, baby steps. We're, we're heading in the right direction. They're finally cluing in that, hey, all of this surveillance is being misused. Oh, what a surprise. So um, I definitely am for endorsing it. Steve? Also in favor of endorsement. All right, then uh, shall we put it to a vote? Second. All right. Uh, all in favor of endorsing the Government Surveillance Reform Act, say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. All opposed, none. Uh, with that, it passes. Um, is there someone who'd like to write a brief statement on our endorsement of it? May. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I, okay. Uh, I guess I shall throw something together. Uh, let's see what else is out there. Um, so with that, the next item is a statement on the Israel Gaza slash uh, Hamas, however you want to phrase it, conflict. Um, we have an ether pad, which I don't think has been much updated. Um, well, that's mainly the reason why I didn't want to commit to writing a statement on that when I commit to writing a statement on this and completely fail voted to do so so well then let me let me ask this um what do we want to make a statement and if so what do we want in it in kind of bullet points and then you know if we decide in general we want to map, um then we have a plan we can revisit it well tentatively at our next meeting which is at the moment scheduled for December 14th. So um, does that sound like a, a good plan for now? I mean, as far as the whole situation, uh, it's so nuanced and there's so much to this particular incident. It goes so far back and there's so much bad blood between both sides. Um, I just do not see a peaceful resolution for this whatsoever in any which way shape or form um i have friends on both sides of this particular conflict and it's awful it's just absolutely awful uh in every which way so um i don't know if there's any way for us to really put a good statement in it other than the fact that the loss of life is terrible and that we really hope for a peaceful outcome as opposed to all of this killing and bloodshed. But what you were basically playing down there to start with is is a really, really good start. And I really do applaud what you've put down so far. I heard um, Senator Sanders on the radio this morning, and I, I sort of like the way he framed it. Um, Israel has a right to defend itself. It doesn't have a right to indiscriminately kill civilians. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I would throw in it. It doesn't have the right to lens people in Gaza or the West Bank either, <laughs> which unfortunately, yeah. certainly since Netanyahu came in, has essentially been in um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like there's there's two million people, most of whom who had little to no, didn't had nothing Hamas. to do with Hamas. Yeah, right. And and they're bearing the brunt of mass death. You know, twenty thousand people. Uh, certainly, at least fifteen thousand people, and and probably higher. Vast devastation. I mean, like the newest using some AI system to pick targets, which is just, uh, <laughs> so if, if your algorithm is trained on data that says these people are awful and we should just violate them, then, well, that's what you're going to get for targets. Um, so I just feel like, personally, I just feel like at a minimum there needs to be a ceasefire, stop the killing, and get the resources need, and then just talk it out. Um, you know, whatever what happened, Hamas and groups did on October seventh was horrible. Uh, the death of innocent civilian, whatever conflict is wrong, and you know, Israel has killed. 10 times <laughs> the number of Palestinians for the number of 
uh, people killed in Israel. I, I don't know. It just it just feels wrong to have the killing continue, and I I feel like making a statement at least saying yeah, just stop the killing, cease fire, and talk it out, and get people the help they need. So, that, you know, like, even the UN Secretary General is like, hey, uh, you need to, like, make a statement on this, because the whole, you know, the hospitals are, are falling apart if they haven't already fallen apart, they're starving, uh, you know, I mean, it's collective punishment, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's the same thing. I, I bring up the Warsaw Ghetto uprising, you know, which was legitimate. Um, they had every right to fight off the Nazis, and that was a collective punishment, both before and after. So, uh, collective punishment is bad. <clears throat> well, I think you hit the the nail right on the head, where it's like a ceasefire and rendering humanitarian aid. Just to allow, like, allow to get the aid to get in there and help the people, you know. I think that would be a huge step in the right direction, and at least end the bloodshed or put a pause on the bloodshed, and allow both sides to regroup, you know. So, uh, what about the statement that you discovered? to send 2,000 pound bombs to indiscriminately kill people. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the full extent of the U.S. involvement is, but I know there's a lot of action happening down in the Yemen area. And I know there's a lot of issues with Iran popping in. So, um, I wasn't even thinking that. I, I was thinking more we're sending bombs. Like, it's one thing if, if we say, okay, here we bought these Iron Dome units from you. Now we're going, to, we're going to lend them to you in order to shoot down missiles that are coming at you. It's defensive. It's another when we're giving them uh, 2,000 JADMs to, like, destroy, you know, just destroy apartment buildings, I guess is thought well my whole question is why are they going after the apartment buildings in the first place i mean they say oh there's terrorists in there but uh, it's pretty well known that hamas creates tunnels underneath the buildings not necessarily in the buildings themselves so even if you take out the entire complex it's not going to destroy hamas they're already down and out and gone you know so why destroy the building if in the first place? Like I, I, I fully don't get why the whole strategy behind Israel at this time. But at the same time, they can't do nothing. So again, I'm very on the fence on it because I see it from uh, I see that there's an issue on both sides. Are they handling it in the way which I think is the most appropriate? No, but. At the same time, is there a situation that they have to handle? Yes. It's just I don't want there to be suffering by the Palestinian people. So. Just the question were agreed ceasefire and the blood rendering humanitarian aid, uh, talk it out. Or choose a neutral party that has no interest on one side or the other. Like, let's, uh, let's get some representatives from Zimbabwe. Uh, I'm not, yeah. Or, or other, there's, there's are plenty of countries that could. Um, yes. I, I guess the, the contours of this, You know, do we do we want to, in, you know, urge them to, like, come up with a, like, talk out a peaceful resolution to the conflict? 
the entire conflict or even just this conflict subset of the wider or, or at least go for a basic uh a go for a ceasefire i think a, a ceasefire would be the best term or best goal to go for at this point because i don't think the hostilities are going to end overnight by any means probably not even for generations but if we can just stop the killing we can stop the hemorrhaging of, of the loss of life. I think a ceasefire is the only thing that would end it. Certainly, it, it, there would be a ceasefire more than likely if we weren't sending as many bombs, but... Um, <clears throat> so, I, I guess I'm hearing from you like what what was said what was kind of written before and then fire and end the bloodshed rendering humanitarian aid and, and just leave for the moment yeah honestly i think what how you said it again that we feel for the palestinian people and and the israeli people and that this okay. is a terrible complex that needs to we need to end the bloodshed and allow humanitarian aid to aid those who have suffered. Steve, are you comfortable with that? Yep, I've also been uh, making bullet point notes for what what we've been talking about. Thank you. Steve, you're awesome. Uh, so we will draft the, the final statement and then vote next meeting sounds good um so the um move topic um the u.s pirate party had a meeting uh last sunday they admitted texas um which um I said we would help sponsor, <laughs> so uh, we should probably reach out to V and others and Essence um, as best we can. Yeah, V is pretty easy to get in touch with through Discord, um, and I was planning on helping out V however we could. So okay. I'll try and reach out to V on Sunday. You'll be able to attend on Sunday? I believe so. Excuse me. Okay. I apologize. It's been a long day. Uh, I believe so. Um, okay. I will have many babies afoot, but I will find a way. All right. Uh, if you need just to reach out. Okay, so um, we have action items. Uh, uh, so thoughts on when we should schedule the next democracy committee meeting? Twenty twenty four. This I have a lot going on the the rest of this month. Uh, yeah, that's. Fine. Uh, how about the January, or is that still too soon? Uh, you cut out. So could you say that again? I was uh, I was going to suggest the sixth of January. Would work for me if it's virtual. I, likewise. Okay. Uh, noon. Sure. Great. Uh, then we've got that blocked out. Um, that would not then be a date for the winter conference. Okay. So. Um, So democracy meeting, we can talk about the 
plan for contacting cities and towns to get list of voters um, and and other things. So the winter conference, um, and I apologize for not putting this darn survey out. Um, excuse me. Um, we had said Jan we had said January. Um, what about January and the first half of February? Just to give people options. Yeah, that that's fine. You okay with that, Joe? Uh, I mean, I'd rather just get the winter conference done so that way I personally can work on other projects beforehand or right afterwards because my timetable is going to be pretty well pressed. Okay. Um, um, I mean, and and we both know why. Or all three of yeah. us know why. Right. I'm. I'm not. I'm not um, suggesting. I guess I'm not suggesting. Um, I'm saying that in in the survey of pick a date, it be listed as a possibility. That doesn't necessarily is the cat we would. But how I can? What about the like include the first week of February? So we have kind of a, just in case that still gives. Um, you mean Time for people third, who have things to begin in the middle of February. Sure. The third of the third of February perhaps. Uh fourth, yeah, I guess so. Uh because the seventeenth is the Pirate Security Conference. Oh, yeah. What is the Pirate Security Conference? That is a PPI event, ah. um, which is something that I would strongly suggest we, uh, or at least, are kept in the loop about. This will get there. Oh. Um, yeah, so as as Joe said, it's in Munich. So. <laughs> uh, so. Um, so I guess we'll have a link so that people can find out. Really, like, tell people about it on the website as well. So. Uh, right. Okay, so this the fourth is the you finally yeah. So I was thinking the third of February is the backup. Yep. Yeah. So I was thinking like beginning of February, beginning of January through the first. Like the first weekend, just to give people an option. Um, is that good? I mean, by the will of the people. Sounds good to me. We the people. Uh, <laughs> in favor. <laughs> Pirate noise. I'll argue with logic. All right. I think that is a as a yes. That is that is that is scary possible. All right. Um, and then the agenda is pirate news this Sunday. Yes. Yes. Great. So right. I, would, I would like to officially say that that would. Probably be the last pirate news for the year. I'm I'm fine with that. You fine with that? That's fine, but with me. Okay. So 
the next meeting on the 14th is okay? And then uh, be yeah. done the year? Sounds good to me, sir. All right. All right. Uh, I have nothing else to add. <laughs> oh, I keep cutting. Why do I keep cutting? Oh, I know why I keep cutting out. Uh, I'm not an Ethernet. Sorry. Um, okay. Well, with that. Um, that, why don't we adjourn then? Um, sorry about that. Uh, my technical difficulties. Hopefully that comes through okay. Um, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, shall we adjourn? Sure. Motion to adjourn. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Motion. Thank you very much for those watching this at home. You too can join us. Uh, you can. Also, join us with that uh, a pleasant evening. If we don't talk with you before then, well, have a thank you very much and take care.